Hello everybody, welcome back for another video. Hope you're all doing well and that you're all having an incredible day. Today's video is going to be about what are blue chip stocks and how do dividends work? A lot of people have been asking me this question. I've been mentioning it in other videos. I just forgot to explain them. So here we are at the explanation video. A blue chip stock company or a blue chip company, as they're also called, is pretty much a company with an excellent track record an excellent reputation, has been around for a number of years, they are extremely well known and have produced incredible amounts of profits over an extended period of time. That's pretty much it. Uh, it's a company that you probably have heard of, that you know, that you have in your house, that you've been buying a lot of, your parents probably bought, your grandparents probably bought, not the actual stock, just the actual company themselves. They've been around for a very relatively long time and this is why they are well known. People have also been asking me in the comment section, what are some blue stock, blue chip stock companies? Uh, there are at least 300 around. The ones that you are probably familiar with, just as a an idea, I have a little list here. You have Apple, you have Berkshire Hathaway, you have Coca-Cola. Sure, you know these. You have Johnson & Johnson. You have Disney. You have Microsoft. You have Amazon, Visa, Google, Facebook, IBM, McDonald's, Procter & Gamble, Kraft, the food makers, K-R-A-F-T, Home Depot. You've probably heard of a lot of these and this is why they are blue chip. They are very well known, very well known. There's no really other word I can really find for that. Very popular, well-known company. So typically, if you decide to start investing in stocks, a lot of people you may hear around in other YouTube channels, other places on the internet that people should start getting into penny stocks. Penny stocks are pretty much things that people bet and gamble on that may be worth a penny or a couple of cents uh, that they expect one day potentially in the future could skyrocket in price and therefore they should get into those as they're great for day trading. These are incredibly risky because you're essentially betting on something that's one cent going to maybe 48 cents or a dollar and 48 cents or whatever the actual case might be so that you can sell off immediately. These are not the same as blue chip. Blue chip are incredibly stable. We know the stock markets have crashes, what have you. Very well known, been around for a very long time. So if you are a less risky investor and you are looking to put your money into the stock market, I would suggest looking into blue stock chip companies as they are the most well known and most stable and most profitable out of other things within the stock market. That is a blue chip company. The other question was, um, how do dividends work? Dividends are pretty much something that happens every for every single stock you own or that you've bought from a company around roughly every three to four months. It depends on the company. Some of them do a, a four-month thing, so 12 months out of the year, so three times out of the year. Or a lot of them do it quarterly. That is to say every three months, you will get paid a portion of the actual profits from the company's earnings for every stock that you own as a thank you for owning the stock. That's it. I.e., if you have one stock and that stock has a dividend rate of 3% and the stock is currently going for $100 at the end of the period, the three or four month time, for that one stock, you will receive $3 for free in your stock trading account as a thank you for believing in us. I mean, it's not that cut and dry as far as like them saying like, thank you. It's more of like, hey, this is how dividends work. The great thing about dividends is, is that they stack. So if you have 10 of those stock that are 100 each, you have 1,000. At the end of the period, whatever, the dividend quarter, yada, 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 the 3% after the annual yield, you will receive the 3% and you will then get $30 in your account as opposed to the three. This is why you may hear and have heard a lot of times, a lot of people who own tons of stock, they get richer and richer every year because you are essentially paid for doing nothing. You are paid more for holding the stock as a way that you believe in the company that you, I mean, logically, if you're buying a stock, it's because you believe in that company. You believe that they are, have the potential to do well over the next couple of years. Do you think that Apple's going away anytime soon? There you go. Do you think Microsoft is going away anytime soon? Do you think IBM is going away anytime soon? These are why they are blue chip because they have a lot of faith in them and they have received tons of profits over the years. That's it. It's not that difficult. Um, Dividends, of course, vary across multiple different companies. They're not all the same. Some of the blue chip ones will give you like really low dividend rates. 
And some of them will give you roughly okay, like you're doing pretty fine. Uh, remember the, the trick always is, is that you're trying to outpace inflation. Governments typically say, and then when they're printing money, that their rate of inflation is around 1% to 2%. The issue is, this is not always true. A lot of times at the end of the year, you get the, the inflation report and it's sometime around 3 to 4% or it's around so-and-so. So you have to also, the, the, inflate, the dividend rate that you're trying to hit when you're owning a blue chip stock or any stock for that matter should also be outpacing inflation and also the yearly compounding rewards on top of the stock that you have should also be outpacing inflation as well. I.e., if your stock by itself is going up every year by a good 6% per year because the company is doing exceedingly well, this is a very good stock because you want to be able to once again outpace inflation. Same thing as well if you are getting a percentage of the money that you had put inside of it as a dividend, this is also very good. Um, ideas of dividend numbers. Coca-Cola has a dividend rate of 3.6%. Um, Johnson & Johnson has a 2.57% inflation rate. I mean, dividend rate, inflation. Uh, Apple has a 1% what have you. IBM has 5.37, which is incredibly good. A lot of times you have to watch out as well. A lot of people fall into this trap when they're looking for dividend stocks to invest in. 2012, when I was looking for stocks to get in before I really got into other forms of investing, uh, I found a lot of dividend companies who had dividends of 23%, 18%, 31%, and it looks really attractive. And then you realize these are usually very new companies they're trying to find an incentive to get people to actually go into their company or buy their stock or what have you. And a lot of times some of these companies do fall apart. It's usually like a, it's, it's an incentive to buy us. We'll give you 31% of the profits if you continue buying more of us. But then a lot of times these companies end up faltering. And this is why if you are a less risky investor, you should be looking at blue chips because they probably, uh, a company that's been around for three years as opposed to a company that's been around for 85 years has produced a, a steady dividend. I mean, it's not anything out of control, like a 31%, but a 5% per year just on the dividend amount is also completely fine. And Procter & Gamble has a 2.79% uh, dividend yield, which also isn't terrible uh, for what it's worth, if you kind of really want my honest opinion. If you want more information on this, you can use your search engine, however you decide to search for things, and type in NASDAQ dividend history. They have everything on the NASDAQ website. You type in the name of the company that you were looking for. Everything slows, it falls down and they show you exactly what's on it and exactly what their dividend rate is, what it was before. And you kind of get the uh, gist of it. It's not that difficult at all. Blue chip, major companies. Dividend is the money that you get paid as a thank you from the company every couple of months as a thank you for owning each stock. Yeah. Uh, if I miss anything, tell me in the comment section below. I'll be glad to go over it to help you guys a bit more. Uh, thank you all once again. Wait, rather, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hope you all enjoyed. <laughs> hope you all are having a great day, a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching and listening. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.